Are you ready for another challenge? Because we do it again. The third autonomous greenhouse challenge is here. And this time, it is going to be on lettuce. First, let's have a look on the roadmap so far. In 2018, Wageningen University in Research organized with the sponsorship of Tencent, a leading provider in internet services worldwide, and David Wallerstein, CXO of Tencent, the first International Autonomous Greenhouse Challenge. The first edition was done at Cucumbers, where we had one team outperforming the human reference. The second edition was done on Cherry Tomatoes, where we see that all the teams outperform the manual human reference greenhouse. We are working intensively and we are ready to host the third international competition. We have recently completed our experiments in collecting useful greenhouse climate and crop data, as well as images that will be used for the phases of this year's challenge. You may ask yourself, why lettuce? Well, that is the best part. This time, everything must be autonomous. We would like the teams to have as a focal point the autonomy in their control algorithms for the greenhouse climate and the crop rather than the complexity of the crop. With the current corona pandemic, that is more relevant than ever. You may ask yourself, how are we going to do this? In contrast to the previous edition, this challenge has three phases. In the first phase, teams of machine learning and computer vision experts will have the opportunity to prove their potential in an online hackathon that will take place in June. The online hackathon will have two phases, two parts. In the first part, images of lettuces will need to be annotated. For that, you will receive training images to prepare your algorithms and the performance of the algorithms will be tested, of course, in a set of test images that will be unseen for you. In the second part, artificial intelligence, machine learning algorithms will be needed in order to control a greenhouse climate and crop in a virtual greenhouse simulator. The winning team will have the opportunity to get a wildcard to the actual challenge as well as a prize money with the second and the third best ranking teams. If you miss this opportunity, then you have another chance to prove your potential in a 24-hour hackathon that will take place in our facilities in the Netherlands. In the third phase, the best five ranking teams will get access to our online climate and crop simulator to train their control algorithms. Then they will have one greenhouse lettuce experiment in order to test this algorithm. However, as we said, this time it must be autonomous, so you really cannot change the settings of your algorithms. Results may be quite surprising, so you will get some time in order to refine your algorithms before trying them out in the last and final experiment that will define the winner of the third international autonomous greenhouse challenge. We are very excited and we want you to be part of this challenge, so join us!